There is a player shocking everybody in the NBA, and nobody knows what to do. Let's play a little game. I'm going to show you two stats of two completely different players, and you're going to try to guess who those players are. Player one is averaging over 27.6 points, 3.7 rebounds, and 6.4 assists per game. Player two is averaging over 27 points, 4.4 rebounds, and 4.9 assists per game. So, who are these two players? Well, player two is Steph Curry, nine-time All-NBA, two-time MVP, and four-time Finals champion. Steph Curry is having another incredible season so far, but we kind of expect that from him now. But who is player one? It's Jalen Brunson. His favorite character. Oh, nice move from Brunson. Jalen Brunson once again crafty. The tough Knicks guard shattering expectations with an incredible breakout season. If your best player is small, you're not winning. John Stockton, Allen Iverson, Steve Nash, you could go down the list. As a person that used to get some buckets, <laughs> I'm saying this as a small person. This is a game that the big, bold, and it favors that. Uh, and I love Jalen Brunson. I love Jalen Brunson. But you're going to put him on, on the level of a 1A. You're putting him with Giannis, KD, Steph. Jason they said he couldn't lead the team. They said he was too small, that he didn't have what it takes to be a star. But Jalen Brunson has silenced the skeptics, leading the Knicks into sneaky contenders in the East. From an overlooked second option to leading his team into the playoffs. From doubted to dominant, he's a cold-blooded scoring machine with flawless old man footwork, pivots, and mid-range mastery. He's dissecting defenses with surgical precision. Time to give Brunson his much-needed recognition. He's having an incredible season, averaging 27.6 points on nearly 50% from the field and 40% from three. This is what Jalen Brunson said when he appeared at his first press conference as a New York Nick. I'm not a savior in any way, shape, or form. I just want to be able to contribute to the team. But that couldn't be further from the truth. He proved himself wrong. Jalen Brunson has come to New York and flipped the script lifting the Knicks into real contenders in the East. Jalen Brunson has always been an effective player in the league, but the way he's been playing with the Knicks, it's something else. When the Knicks signed him, many people liked his game, but there were also many who weren't convinced yet. It was a big contract to someone who had never been a number one option on any team. Many wondered if he was ready or if he could ever be a top player on a team. In Dallas, he played well, but he was the number two option, playing alongside superstar Luka Doncic. But even Luca himself acknowledged that he knew Brunson was this good. Did you have any idea Jalen Brunson would be this good? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Why? The way he worked out every day, coming back in the afternoon, you know, it was just amazing to play with that guy. Playing with someone that good can make things much easier for you. But with the Knicks, Brunson has shown he's more than capable of being the main guy. Nobody's creating the opportunities for him. He's doing it himself. The 27-year-old is having a great season, averaging 27.6 points, 3.7 rebounds, and 6.6 .6 assists. He's also shooting 40.7% from three-point range. He has mastered tempo and pace, along with elite-level footwork. Brunson's path to success didn't come from ridiculous athletic moves, but from recognizing angles, pivots, and timing. He's able to manipulate defenses with a series of moves. With complete body control and balance, He's able to get to a spot every time. Bronson doesn't just play the game, he bends it at will. One meticulous move at a time. What Brunson has achieved in New York has been truly amazing, and he's gaining fame rapidly. All those who doubted him have been proven wrong. Jalen Brunson's flawless footwork, hard-nosed effort, and crafty moves have propelled the Knicks from the depths of mediocrity to the heights of Eastern Conference contenders. He's completely changed the team around. He's likely to be selected for his first All-NBA team this year. Fans, media, and fellow players are changing their minds and starting to recognize Brunson for the incredible talent that he is. In this year's All-Star team voting, Brunson received over a million fan votes, placing him among the top 10 Eastern Conference All-Stars. Despite being overlooked and underrated, Brunson's journey is a testament to effort, determination, and skill. Brunson is a humble guy, and he does not give himself enough credit but his peers ranked him in the top three among guards. In today's basketball, missed three-pointers often seem more appealing than made two-pointers. 
But Brunson stands out as one of the top guards in the league when it comes to playing in the paint against big shot blockers and strong centers. And the way he does it is beautiful. It's poetry in motion. Unlike many who prioritize long range or paint domination, Brunson's dance on the court is more nuanced. His footwork is like a well-rehearsed ballet, allowing him to maneuver through defenses with an ease that's both surprising and incredible to see. This sets him up with clean, uncontested mid-range shots or scoops to the rim. In an era where the mid-range shot is undervalued, Brunson is bringing it back. He's not the tallest or most athletic player, but he makes up for it with skill and heart. He's mastered the fundamentals of footwork and puts on a clinic every night. He's got a fearless approach to penetrating defenses, coupled with an uncanny ability to find the tiniest gaps to exploit. Whether it's a step through, a crafty floater, or a mid-range pull-up, Brunson's got a handful of options to score against any defense. What truly sets him apart, however, is his efficiency in these high-pressure situations. He's been clutch this season, able to go get a bucket when they need him to. He's never rushed, playing at his own pace in every situation. Brunson's combination of elite footwork, mid-range precision, and an uncanny ability to finish at the rim makes him a complete offensive powerhouse and main focal point for the Knicks. His contributions go beyond scoring, though. His playmaking and selfless play have elevated the team overall and set them up for a playoff run. His footwork is similar to footwork you see in boxing, where you have total control over your lower body while knowing exactly where you need to go. Like a boxer dancing around the ring, dodging and landing punches, Brunson uses his elite footwork combined with an unshakable balance to slice through the defense. Brunson systematically breaks down defenses with a relentless series of fakes, jabs, and pivots. You can see some similarities in his game to other great guards like Chris Paul, Allen Iverson, or Tony Parker, but Brunson's game is unique to him, and I think we're only just beginning to see what he's capable of. He's carving out his own path and leading the Knicks in the process. Take a look at this. When Brunson comes off the screen, he makes it look like he's heading towards the middle of the court, tricking the defender. This opens up space along the baseline. When he switches the ball to his right hand, defenders have to keep in mind the threat of his pull-up shot. He again tricks the defender by keeping his eyes on the basket, making it seem like he's going to shoot, which makes the defender bite too soon. Then, with a quick crossover move, he takes advantage of the defender's misstep. This guy is always a step ahead. It doesn't matter if he's facing taller opponents. Again, take a look at this video. As soon as Hawkez is on Brunson, he starts to attack right away because he knows that he has the speed advantage against the forward guarding him. Brunson immediately passes from Hawkez's side and he's in trouble because he's trying to catch up. And that's not easy against Brunson, who can be very unpredictable. Now, here it looks like Brunson might take a step back for a mid-range shot. So, as a defender, you try to close in on him without fouling, but it was actually a fake. Brunson turns and doesn't even try to dodge contact. He actually goes for it, knowing he'll get free throws. He can score through contact, too. And Heat now 3 for 16 from the field here in the fourth quarter. Brunson the crossover, the step back, leans in, puts it up, puts it in, and the foul! Brunson's offensive style is an incredible blend of precise and powerful movements. Even when he's tightly guarded by opponents, he remains cool and composed. He's become so accustomed to handling the ball frequently that he doesn't get flustered at all. Another strength in his game is working the pick and roll, a skill he probably mastered by playing side-by-side -side with Luka Doncic. He's a high-level decision-maker. He knows when to hold on to the dribble or find the easy pass to his teammate. Bronson can effortlessly change pace and direction, even under pressure. He dismantles defenses with finesse. He very cleverly uses patience and skill, holding on to his dribble as he mixes in a variety of fakes, jabs, and hesitations to throw off defenders. When Brunson reaches the mid-range zone, he's incredibly reliable. He's been among the top performers, hitting those shots consistently and ranking around the 90th percentile over the past two years. He has put in a lot of work to get where he is today. He's also elite with finishing around the rim, which is unexpected for someone his size. Typically, players of his height struggle to finish near the basket. For instance, Fred Van Vliet, who is similar in height to Brunson, makes just over half of his layup attempts. But Brunson manages to convert an impressive 71% of his layup attempts. This season, the Knicks have found a winning formula. With Jalen Brunson playing a key role, he's been incredibly effective. 
shooting over 49% from 16 to 20 feet away from the basket. This success is largely due to his skill in using screen and roll plays to create opportunities and find open spots for mid-range shots. If defenders sag off too much, Brunson can punish them, currently shooting close to a career-high 41% from three-point range. This flexibility in his game adds another dimension to the Knicks' offense, particularly in their two-man game. When perimeter shooters are also hitting their shots, the Knicks become a really tough team. The Knicks recognized Brunson's breakout season and capitalized on it, trading for OG Ananobi, Boyan Bogdanovic, and Alec Burks to round out the roster. These players, alongside Brunson, have created a synergy and depth that's changed the outlook of the team. They're currently sitting fourth in the East right now, just one and a half back from the Cavs. Yet, as promising as their journey has been, the question remains, how far can Jalen take the Knicks this season? With the playoffs on the horizon, the spotlight on Brunson and the Knicks will only intensify. The Eastern Conference is a battlefield, and every game a test. But considering Brunson's knack for rising to the occasion, they have a great chance at making a deep playoff run this year. All heart and effort for the Knicks. They've battled out wins all season, despite being caught with injuries. Brunson's unselfish playmaking has been key for the Knicks this season. He's creating high percentage shots for his teammates. He's got amazing court vision, working and working inside the paint, and in perfect timing, finding his teammates for a good shot. Jalen Brunson's drive and kick game is also top notch. When he attacks the basket, defenders swarm him like bees to honey. Brunson doesn't panic. Instead, he slices through the defense, drawing their attention like a magnet. And just when they think they've got him cornered, whips the ball out to an open shooter waiting beyond the three-point line. It's like a perfectly timed dance move. Brunson drives, defenders converge, and then bam, the kickout pass finds its mark. The result? A sweet three-pointer. Brunson's team-first attitude really shows up in his defense. He's always in the right spot. Son of Rick Brunson, who played and coached in the NBA, Jalen has inherited a strong understanding of the game. It's clear that he's working on improving on the defensive side, especially with drawing charges, showing he doesn't let his size stop him. He's second overall for most charges drawn this season. Even though Brunson isn't big, he's not scared to stand up to players of all sizes. His efforts on that end are making a big difference, especially fast breaks. Jalen Brunson's journey from overlooked second option to driving force behind the New York Knicks' rise is a masterclass in defying expectations. Proving all the doubters wrong, with unwavering dedication and mesmerizing footwork, he's flipped the script, bending defenses to his will with surgical precision. In an era all about flashy highlights, Brunson is a refreshing reminder that true greatness lies in the fundamentals. The use of deceptive fakes, pivots, and sneaky angles. No longer the underdog, Brunson has arrived, showing that effort, grit, and mastery of the fundamentals can take you far. What do you think? Can Brunson lead the Knicks to the finals? How far can they go?